Hi, it's Juliet. We all know that plants grow and sooner or later they need to be repotted into a larger planter. The plant I have here, this overgrown ZZ plant, I got it from one of our customers. She asked me to help her to repot this plant from this really tight pot and move it into a, a larger pot. As you can see that the plant is so root bound, you can see how much it pushes against the plant toward deforming it and you can see how tight it is in there. So this is exactly what I'm going to do today. I'm going to remove it from this really, really tight pot into a much more spacious planter. I will also add some support to the stems. I can see that she used some rubber bands to keep them in place. I will clean it up, I will add support and I'll make it look beautiful and perfect. If you don't know me yet, I am the founder of My City Plants. I've been working with plants, taking care of plants for many, many years. And on this channel, I am sharing with you my experience and my best tips to help you grow happy and healthy plants. Please subscribe to our channel, keep your notifications on so you do not miss any new videos. I had someone to help me to remove this uh, inner part from the planter cover because it's so tight, I was not able to really pull it out. So now when it's out, I can start working on the plant all right gloves are on knee pads are on and I am ready to go I'm going to start with wrapping the plant uh, with the paper so I can keep the stems up and avoid any damage while I'm handling the plant I don't want to break the stems I will just create a little ring around it it will be much easier for me to handle it when it's wrapped all right let's see i'm gonna staple it okay and then gently lift it up So the stems are out of the way, secure and safe. Okay, I think this is good. I have honestly made a couple of attempts before shooting the video to see if I can actually remove it from this pot without having to cut it because I was hoping we can save the pot and maybe put another plant in it but unfortunately there is no way I can do it the roots are so bound right here you can see how deformed everything is and no matter how strong I am no matter how much I go to the gym this is task I cannot do so I would have to cut the pot and free the plant and then put it in a better bigger house all right that's the tools i need i also have like a really sharp knife but i think because it's a plastic and it's pretty soft i think i can manage with just the smaller pruners and then use the knife to Go down and cut it. Let's do another one here. Okay, maybe a little more. Oh, you can see the roots. Look at the roots, guys. Look. Oh, wow. Really tight. Your freedom is coming soon, Zazie, baby. Okay. Let me see. Let me see if I need to cut more. Oh, this will do oh maybe that's yeah that's plenty space for me to work i'm gonna gently grab it and ta -da! look at this how spectacular yeah the roots are grown all around the planter part it needs to come out We have this a little part of sub irrigation system here. Oh my goodness. Look at this root. How amazing. 
All right, and now we're gonna move to, <laughs> to the next step, putting it in another planter. Let me tell you how to choose the right size pot when you're repotting your plant. A new pot should be five to seven inches wider, bigger, and five to seven inches deeper. You do not want to use too big of a pot because all that extra soil will not dry out as fast as it needs, and that will lead to root rot. Also, how to know when the plant needs to be repotting before it's too late and it's bursting out of the pot? Just watch it. If you see the roots coming out of the drainage hole, if you feel that the, it's really getting a little tight in that pot, or if you notice that the watering frequency changed and you have to water your plant more often, that's a perfect time to repot this plant. I have, for this baby here, Lechuza uh, Cubico A40 planter. It's the same exact style where this guy was living before, it's just bigger. If you watched my videos before, I'm a big fan of lechuzas of watering planters. I love the subrogation system. It's built in inside the inner pot in this particular model planter. The water reservoir is at the bottom and the cover of the planter works like a plant stand and it helps us to elevate the plant. I'm not gonna need this. I will need to use it later. If you're curious to know more about Lechuza Self-Watering Planters, I do have a playlist which is called Lechuza Self-Watering Planters. I'm going to provide the link to that playlist in the video description so you can go browse through and learn more about these magnificent planters. All right, so let's start repotting. All I need is potting mix. And again, for this easy plant, drainage is important, so please, always use a very very porous soil i'm gonna add a little bit of the soil at the bottom before i transport the plant and that should be enough let me loosen up the roots a little bit also what i will do guys i will cut this extra long roots it's okay to prune roots. I know a lot of people are scared to do it. It is absolutely fine. It will force and it will give more space for this shorter roots to grow. It will not gonna start, you know, like root bounding again. So it, there's no harm to the plant to cut it. So let me grab my scissors and I'll cut it. All right, guys, I got my scissors. It is very important before you do anything, trimming, cutting, pruning, make sure that you sanitize your tools. I have just a 70% rubbing alcohol here. I'm alcohol. I'm just gonna uh, spray it and cut the roots down. When, you, when you're cutting the roots, do not remove more than 20, 30%. As you can see, there is a plenty, plenty of healthy roots here. So I don't have to worry about stressing out plant. It's gonna take it well. I'm just gonna loosen up the rest of the root system before putting it into the new pot. Now let me take a quick look and see which side of the plant is a little fuller, which we'll call the front of the plant, and which one is a little more bare. All right, I think this, this side is better looking. All right, and then we are going in the pot Look, look how perfect. You see how much space there is around the plant? It's deep enough, it's wide enough. Yeah, this guy will be definitely, definitely very happy in this planter. And now all I have to do, just put the soil around it. You see guys how easy it is to work around the plant when it stems tied up with paper. It makes my job so much faster. Okay, plant is spotted. Now I can clean up a little bit and then I'll be back to put it in its cover. Okay, let's put the plant in. Wonderful. 
after repotting your plants, they always, always need to be watered. So I'm going to give this guy a really good drink. Lucky for me, I have my watering hose right nearby. Before I unwrap this beautiful plant and start cleaning it and adding support to its beautiful fronds, I want to tell you a little bit about acclimation. After repotting or when you bring a new plant home, plant will go through some level of stress. Lower leaves might turn yellow, the younger leaves might turn yellow because the plant needs to adapt to its new environment, to its new pot. It's been moved from one location to another, so all of this little yellowing here and there is expected. If you see some yellow leaves, all you have to do is just simply cut them out. Again, make sure you sanitize it with uh, alcohol. Let's, for example, you see this little leaf here. I'm just gonna cut it out to show you. You simply cut it out. If you see any fallen leaves on the soil, you definitely remove it as well. You do want to keep the soil free of any debris. All right, it's time for the paper to come off. Let's see what we got. If the plant is sitting straight in its new pot, if not, I would have to straighten it up. Let me walk around it and take a look. Yeah, I think it's pretty straight. What I'll do, I'll remove um, the support. So as you can see, uh, the owner of the plant, she used the bamboo stick to support the plant, but I also see that it probably was bending because the front was so heavy. So she used a little bit of tape. We're gonna remove this and add a better support. There's another stick here. You can also see some of the banding and tape here. So I would have to remove all this and support the stems with individual sticks. You can use bamboo stick and raffia, but I got something better and I will show you in a second. I'm not gonna remove this from the banded stem. So I wanna show you that this uh, awesome support stakes, they, they come in different sizes, they're metal, they're thin, so they're easy going, they're easy to put into the soil. They have a really large opening where you can uh, put the stem in and they also come with this little cute things that if you need to attach stem in a few extra places, you can use those as well. So I'm gonna show you exactly how it's done. Let me just make sure I got, I removed everything I needed. Looks like everyone is standing pretty tall, but I know because of the support that the stems have, that's where they're holding uh, this position. And in time, if I don't add the support, they will start leaning out again. So let's see what we can do for this guy here that has a little band and really needs better support. I'm gonna use the shorter one. Just be very careful when you, you know what, let me remove this. We don't need this here. Cover with the soil, very good. Okay, so let's see if we can, yeah, ta-da, you see? Perfect. All right, guys, I have added a few uh, support stakes. So you can see here, I'm supporting the stakes with the shorter ones. This little guy has been, I'm not gonna remove the tape, it seems to be doing okay, but I did give it an extra support. There is another one that I have added, and then the middle one got a much longer steak. Now it's coming undone, so I have to put it back in place. Done, and I secured it in here, this little, really cool by the way. Now I'm going to finish uh, the last stem. I also used one of the tallest uh, stakes. I'll have to remove the rubber band and bamboo stick. And just to make sure that it is safe and secure, we'll use this cool little things to keep it in place. See, now it's definitely not going anywhere and it's not going to break. Now some final touches. I just have to clean the leaves, clean the pot 
and I'll be done. Check out my 360 sprayer. Love it. Gently, just gonna wipe off. It looks a little dusty. So before it goes back to its home, it looks shiny, it looks clean. Wiping leaves, guys, very important. That prevents from past spreading around the plant. It also helps the plant to absorb the light properly. See how much dust? Plus overall, really makes plant look happy and healthy. Plant is clean and you can see how much brighter and fresh it looks. Yes, ZZ plant does have naturally glossy, beautiful leaves, but I think after you dust them off, they look even better. This plant will be happy growing in its new pot for the next three, four years. Uh, and in three, four years, it would need to be repotted either in a larger pot or it can be divided which is an awesome thing to do, and pot, the divided pieces potted in the different pots. But that's the subject for another video and I'll my make one for you. I hope you learned a thing or two about how to repot ZZ Plant. Hit like if you enjoyed the video and find it helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching, take care of yourself, take care of your plants, and I'll see you soon.